So it's a brand new day, more rubbing issues, what is new? <laughs> so I'm rubbing more, um, it's just something you get while you run aggressive wheels and a lot of camber. And not only with camber, if you guys are new to the Rocket Bunny kit, if you guys just put the kit on your car, um, you will run into a lot of rubbing issues. So I'm trying to cover pretty much all of them that you'll run into so I can help you guys out and kind of show you guys how to fix it. So if you guys haven't watched my last video, I pretty much went through the rubbing issues with the little lip that these kits come with. Um, I pretty much shaved it off. So if you guys didn't see that, go ahead and check that out. But with my problem today is my turning. Um, I can't go full lock. I end up hitting this piece right here. Also, a lot of people have issues with this little piece in the back of the wheel area. I also have some footage of me rubbing when I'm turning. I think it was like yesterday, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now. I can't even make a turn without it like rubbing. As you guys can see, it makes that really loud, annoying sound, and it actually ruins your tires over time. So you definitely want to get that area cleared up before you start damaging your tires even more. rubbing in more places that I actually thought to begin with. I'm rubbing right here. It's part of like the front frame, kind of where the bumper attaches. So I'm rubbing right here. Also, I'm rubbing at the top. There's this little flap right here that's kind of sitting down. And also, I'm still rubbing on this back piece right here. Those are the three parts that I'm rubbing at and pretty much that's where most of the people rub as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the angle grinder out and pretty much shave all this down. <laughs> actually seen other people do it this way uh, instead of shaving this down with like a um, like a grinding wheel uh, what I see people do is they just like the wide body they cut like little slits all along it and then they hammer it in I'm actually gonna go ahead and try that out maybe it'll be easier I don't know but I'm actually gonna give it a shot right now <music> cutting these little slits right here so what I'm gonna do now is actually attempt to hammer these down so it should be easier to hammer now that it has those relief cuts I think they call it but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start hammering those in surprisingly it actually worked so much faster and so much easier so I actually put these all the way down um, before I just shave it down with like in like a shaving wheel and that kind of like took forever and it was really messy but literally with this it took me like less than five minutes to get this down so now I'm just gonna hammer it a little bit more to make it more flat but I just wanted to show you guys that it's way easier to doing it this way <laughs> So I think I've trimmed enough on the front as well. Again, I did the little cut slit things over here. Um, I also removed the bumper bracket, which I really don't need because I have the quick releases that attach to the fender and the bumper. So that holds itself in place. You guys can hammer it or you just, or you can trim it. I pretty much have cut everything on this car already. So I just cut those slits and then hammered it in. So that should do it honestly. That's a lot of room right here has been cleared so I think all is left is I'm going to throw the wheel on or actually I have to do the other side first then I'll throw the wheel on and see if it clears down
think I beat the living crap out of this car enough so I can fit these wheels <laughs> pretty much flat in this side. Also, I hammered this top a little bit, this little ledge, and then um, cleared this space as well, just like the other side. <sighs> I'm tired. Let's throw the wheel on. <laughs> Alright guys, first test. Let's see if it still rubs. <laughs> good. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out on a drive right now. Look at that. That clearance is so small. Just a little bit of rubbing on full lock. Uh, looks like it's on, it's rubbing at the top. I'm not too worried about that honestly. This side clears quite a bit. Yeah, it's not as bad as before, but the only way I'd fix that top problem is cutting more slits on that top wheel well area and then hammering that up as well. But for the most part, I'm not rubbing on the parts that it was before. Yeah, I can like turn now without... Before, I couldn't even like make a regular turn without rubbing. Now it's pretty much... Just rubbing at the top. The sides I'm pretty much good now. I'm not even touching anymore. All right guys, so I have to head to work now. I'm, I have like 15 minutes left to get ready. I went over most of the parts where people rub once they put their rocket money kit on their car. Any pointers for you guys? I recommend trimming these parts down as much as possible. It will be a lot of trial and error. Um, you'll be jacking up the car, taking the wheels off multiple times, um, basically testing it every single time to see if it rubs. So it takes a lot of time, um, a lot of patience. So just, I recommend you guys to just be patient with it. I've literally trimmed so many pieces off of this car after I went wide body. There's no way around it, pretty much. You can't put this kit on and not trim a single piece on your car. If that's something you guys don't wanna do and you don't wanna trim your car, um, and I don't recommend going wide body because because you will have to trim pieces on your car. So just a heads up on that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out if you guys need to trim your pieces or if you're rubbing a lot. Drop a comment if you guys need any help on where to trim or any questions regarding today's video. All right guys, so I will catch you guys next video. Stay tuned for the whole molding process. It's gonna be super soon. Um, I'm gonna start molding my wide body kit onto my car. So stay tuned for that series. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the continuous support. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.